everyone, welcome or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl Penny, and this is my awesome dad, George. Dad, where are we today? Subway. That is exactly right, guys. We are at Subway. Subway just brought out three new subs on their Subway series menu, okay? And we got all three. We got the number 31, the cheesy garlic steak, the number 21, the honey mustard barbecue chicken, and the number 22, the spicy nacho chicken. We got six inches of all three of these. We're gonna cut them in half, and we're gonna taste test them, um, and we're gonna tell you what we like or don't like about them, okay guys? And we're gonna rate them, one being the worst, 10 being the best, or somewhere in between. And if that all sounds good to you guys, please show that subscribe button some love. It's down below, click it, boop it, smash it. It's free, it's easy. And if you've already subscribed, or if you don't want to subscribe, we understand. But can you give us that thumbs up? That is the easiest way you guys can support us is click that thumbs up. And guys, we want to thank you so much for doing those things. And we want to thank you for watching us every day. Yeah, we we do thank you. Yeah, we thank you a lot. So I got to get this plate out here. I got a plate and a knife to cut these subs in half so me and dad can taste test them and tell you what you know what we like or don't like about them or we can tell you which one is our favorite okay okay so here's the thing guys i know not what each one of these subs are because they did not mark them didn't mark them and i kind of didn't want to do i wanted to do the spicy one at the end I don't really want to do the spicy one at the beginning. And I want to talk about these subs as well. Subway, come on. Let me try to figure out which one this one is. Okay. I believe this one is the steak. I'm going to have Dad hold on to this okay. one. Okay. And I'm, I got to... I gotta figure out what these other ones are so I know where to go from where I'm at. Okay. <laughs> I wish they would have marked them and then there wouldn't be any any hassle of this. Okay, I think that is the jalapeno one. That's the jalapeno one. Let me just double check and see if this is the other one. I feel like I'm going to be wearing it. <laughs> we'll show you. Yeah, this is the honey mustard. I believe so. Okay, let's start with this steak one. So, okay. like I said, we got six inches, guys. All I see is bread here. Look at the very little, and this is one of our best subways, okay, guys? So, I don't even know what to say at this point, okay? I know one thing, I'm dropping stuff that I probably need, but let's look in this thing. Well, let me tell you what's in it really quick. How much did we pay for this thing? So this is the number 31, the cheesy garlic steak. We got the six inch for $6.59 here in Ohio. A 12 inch is $10.89. So we did not get the 10, we got the six. It's got steak, new creamy cheddar cheese sauce, green peppers, red onions, roasted garlic aioli, a new sub crunch thing that they're putting on some of these subs. It's called sub crunch. And a to on a toasted Italian bread. Let's look in this thing really quick, guys. Okay, I do see some of those crunchy things down here in the front. They're hard to see mixed in. I see green peppers. I see the onions. I see some cheesy stuff in there. I see some decent steak in here. We're going for it. Let's try to cut it in half the best I can. Dad, I think I'm going to give you this side. This side, okay. this side feels softer than the other side. Okay. I think it might be a little easier for you to... Now remember, we got three of these to try. I wanted to try something really quick. Okay. 
You can definitely taste the garlic. Definitely taste the garlic, can't you, Dan? Yeah. Definitely taste the garlic. These little crunchy things that they put on there, I thought they were chips. They're not chips. I can't even show you one because it's got sauce on it. It almost looks like a fried onion, but it's not. It almost reminds me of, you know, right here's your nephew. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah. There's like two of them. one over there, but. The little, the sub crunch things is like, um, you know those little crunchy bits that comes off of your fish at like uh, Long John Silver's, the crunchies, the crispies, whatever you call those. That's kind of what they are. It's kind of like a little battered little thing. A little crunchy nub. I don't know what you call it. I'm dripping. I got all of my shirt. Okay. <laughs> Something's falling down and I'm dropping it. Now remember, Dave, we got two others to try, so I don't. Are you? Do you want to give up on that okay. one? Okay. We got two others to try. Really? I don't want to get too full and not be able to. I got an steak. Yep. Let's get a drink here. You can definitely taste the garlic, okay, guys? Mm -hmm. Um, the steak is halfway decent. It's thinly shaved steak. It's not tough or anything, is it for you, Dad? Mm -hmm. Let's let Dad get finished with his chewing up. I don't want him to get choked. You can get me a drink here. This one, I do too. You do too. Um, I, like it. I think you gotta like garlic. You gotta like garlic flavoring for this, guys. If you like garlic, pretty much anything, I think you're gonna like this sub. It's pretty decent. I mean, it's, the steak. It's the, not bad. the steak isn't too tough. Um, onions, 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 and green peppers go good on there. And there's like a cheat, like the cheddar cheesy sauce. There was a little bit underneath there. Yeah, it was a little creamy. I couldn't have told you it was cheddar cheese sauce. I just mostly taste like a um, a garlic aioli, a garlic mayo, yeah. and the steak and the onions and peppers. That's what I'm mostly tasting. And it was like those little crunchy bits in there. Did you taste? Did you bite down on some yeah, of those little crunchy bits? Yeah, yeah. They're calling them sub crunch, guys. The flavor of this is good, Dad. You got a score for this one? Eight. An eight out of ten? Yeah. Um, eight. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten, guys. I like it. I would get it again. I, uh, you would I you would get it do. again? I would I do. like the flavor of it. The garlic is bringing some really good flavor. I would like it. The garlic is doing the heavy lifting there. So if you don't like garlic, don't get that one because no. it's got the garlic taste. But I like it. It's got a good garlic flavor. Okay. So this is the one I think is not hot. So the second one we're trying is the number 22, or sorry, 21. Number 21, the honey mustard barbecue chicken, guys. Um, it's rotisserie style chicken, Monterey cheese, lettuce, tomato, red onions, pickles, drizzled with sweet honey mustard, hickory smoked barbecue sauce on an Italian bread. And that's how they're serving it, guys. You can take off toppings if you want but this is what's on their menu that's why we got it that way yeah. a six inch is six dollars and 69 cents here in ohio that's what we got but you can get a 10 inch for ten dollars and 99 cents let's check this thing out now this six inch looks a little bit bigger than that other six inch it looks a little fuller a little bigger and all those things i'll try not to but you get stuff on your hand. But anyway, let's try to look in here real quick. I see pickles. I see tomatoes and onions. Guys, I'm going to close this up. I'm already getting it on my pants. I see the chicken in there a little bit. Must be underneath all that other stuff, but I can't. 
I've already got it on my pants, so we're going for it. I'm going to give you this in today. It feels like it's a little softer. Okay. I'm taking the butt end. Okay, you're going one way and I'm going another. Okay. Let's try this thing out. I feel like I'm going to wear this for real. I already got it on my pants. I'm going to put it. I feel like it's going to drip out the bottom for me. At least Dad's got a shirt protector. I don't. This one's fuller, guys. This one's definitely fuller. What one is this one again? The number 21, the honey mustard barbecue chicken. some critiques for that. I got it all over my hand. I got some critiques for this one. Oh. I thought I put a napkin or anything because that napkin is so... I feel like I got it all over my thing. I got it on my shirt too. I got it everywhere, guys. <laughs> That one's a saucy one. My hands are sticky. Okay, if you order off the menu, I gotta, I gotta say a couple things. I, I, I just, I gotta say them. Okay, if you order these off of the menu, just expect this one to be saucy. If you're the type that likes like that really saucy sandwich, that's mostly what you're tasting is all the sauce then this is the sandwich for you, okay? Um, I almost feel like you should get it without the sauce and get the sauce on the side. That way you can put as much or a little of the sauce on. That for me, anyway, that's how I feel about it. But if you like that, a lot of sauce on your sandwiches, you might like this one. And I don't hate this one, okay? It's just that all I'm tasting is honey mustard and a smoky barbecue sauce. I can't really taste the vegetables around that, and I can't taste, I, you know, I'm chewing into chicken. I knew I was chewing into strands of chicken, right, because it's a rotisserie chicken. But I can't taste it because of the honey mustard and that barbecue sauce is, it's, it's just making, it's taking up the whole taste. You know what I mean? It, that's overpowering everything else on the sandwich. For me. Okay. Dad will have to tell you what he thinks about it, but that's my first, oh, shoot, Dad. Yeah. It's yeah, up. you're dripping over here and over there. Okay. I got you. You want a wet nap? Yeah. Okay. It's a messy sandwich. That one's messy, drippy, everything. I get a little bit. Of, get it wet. Well, yeah. Just take this and let, let's let's concentrate on one thing at a time. Okay. One thing at a time. Okay. Norm, yeah. Norm, yeah. Short. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Oh. messy. <sighs> kind of interested to hear Dad's opinion on this. Thing. You want to get a sip of soda really quick? Yeah. Oh. Now, Dad's been into honey mustard lately, so he might like this one a little more than me. Okay, so let's, let's see what he has to say about that. Well, how do you like the flavor of that one, Dad? I like the flavor of vegetables and everything. You like? Okay. Okay. So, um, would you get this one again? Yeah. You uh, would? I would. I would tone the, the, the 
mess is the messiness down. Okay, so yeah, you would like <coughs> a little less sauce, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like um, the sweet and the sour. The, the pickles on there too. Pickles on there. Um, the onions and, the, and everything in the between. Yeah. The chicken. I, taste, I, taste I couldn't. It. The sauce for me was drowning it out, guys. Um, I think Dad is right. I think. I can't say that I didn't like the flavor, you know what I'm saying? But if I ordered this personally, I would tell him to leave the sauce off. And put it in on us on the side, and then that way you can control how much you put on it. That's, I would do. I that's would the do. best way that I would eat that sandwich again. If you just handed, you know, if I I wouldn't just go in and buy this one like that again. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um. So, Dad, what score out of ten would you give that one? I would give it a seven and a half. Seven point five out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, I like the taste. Okay, I got. I, I like the taste. I got and two scores. Okay, I I got two scores, guys. Getting it just like that, I'm gonna eat it, okay. But like I said, it's just it, the the sauce is overpowering everything else. I want to taste the other things. So getting it like that, it's a very mediocre sandwich to me. I would give it a five out of ten. I would eat it, but it it I can't taste anything else. Now, if I, got, I, I believe if I got the sauce on the side and controlled it the way I wanted to, I might give it an 8 out of 10. You know what I mean? Because the honey mustard does kind of go good with the I pickles. I might even win and above, nine. You know, If you could control the sauce yeah, a little bit. I can control the sauce. So, that's that's where we're at with that one. So, right now. I can, right now I, we, it was messy. It was messy. Yeah, it's it was. messy, but I, that's not really. I, I, it was. I'm going on. It the tastes, flavor, yeah. The flavor and the taste. And that's what I was going on, too. Okay, so this one is the spicy one, guys. This one is the spicy one. That's the last one. You ready for oh, it, Dan? Okay. okay, so this is the number 22. The spicy nacho chicken. It's rotisserie-style chicken. Uh, new creamy cheddar cheese sauce green peppers, red onions, jalapenos, creamy sriracha sauce with the new sub crunch stuff on here and on toasted Italian bread. Let's look at okay. it really quick. Let's see the chicken. I see that sriracha sauce is that bright orange stuff. Um, I see some nacho cheese which is a lighter orange in there. I see jalapenos in here. Green peppers and onions and, and the chicken. What? Yeah, I see some. Uh, I see a few of them. I don't see like a million, but I see a few of them. Okay, that's the end of it, right there. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing. I already dripped a bunch on my shirt, but. This one seems less full, guys. So these are, this one is, we got the six inch. We paid $6.69 for this. The 12 inch is I got breadcrumbs all down me. Guys, if you like chicken nachos with like that nacho cheese sauce and jalapenos and like shredded chicken, if you like those flavors, you're going to love this sub. But those jalapenos got some heat to them. Yeah. So I just ate one and it's got a good burn going on. Now, Let me get a couple more bites here. That sriracha sauce has got a flavor too. It's got some heat to it too. Mm. Guys, I love nachos. This is just... It, 
tastes like nachos to me. You know, I'm not chewing into like, you know, chips and nacho chips, right? But the, the flavors of like a good chicken nacho with the nacho cheese, that sriracha, ma'am. Okay, it's getting hotter. And the jalapeno, it's getting hotter. Heat wise, I like to explain like the heat level, okay? I always say there's mild, medium, and hot. And me and dad, for the most part, if it stays in the medium range, right in the middle, we're pretty happy. You know, we could taste everything, we enjoy it, right? If it starts going over into hot for our level, if it starts going over into hot, you can't taste the food, we don't enjoy it as much. This is pretty darn spicy. It's pretty spicy. It's at the, it's definitely in the medium. It's trying to climb to hot though. How do you feel about it, Dad? It is. I eat a jalapeno one and it really just to mm -hmm. And that sriracha sauce has got some heat to it too. I really love the flavor of this one though. It's spicy. I like it too. You like it too? Mm hmm. Boy, but it's spicy. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you here. I gotta find something to wipe my hands on. I'll be honest with you here. I do like spicy stuff, but lately spicy stuff's been getting to me, okay? I almost ate a whole half of a six inch, so three inches. I don't think I could eat a whole six inch. I think sooner or later that heat would just get too much for me and I would have to stop, okay? But I love the flavor of this. So I have to say, if you like jalapenos and nacho cheese and you like those types of things, I think you're gonna like this. Dad, you want a wet nap? I feel like, I don't know if it helps or not, but okay, let's, let's get rid of this soggy thing. If you like nachos, chicken nachos with jalapenos and uh, nacho cheese, that's what this thing tastes like, and I love it. I love the flavor of this thing. Like I said, though, I don't think I can sit and eat a six, whole six inch without stopping to, like, let my mouth cool down a little bit. Then I could finish it. Like, this is what I got left in my, my, I'm going to eat this, but. I love the flavor of it. Mm. I like that one best of all. You like that one best of all? <laughs> mm. That's a good drink. I'm really trying to think of my score here. So you like that one best of all, huh? You like it better yeah. than the steak one? Um, I like the like the control, control the uh, spicy sauce in there. Yeah. On this one too, guys. If I got it again, I would tell them to leave the sriracha sriracha sauce off off on the side. And I would like to add it my own, okay? I would still like to add it, but I would like to control it because that is bringing some heat too. It's pretty darn spicy. Whew, I'm sweating a little bit. Okay, Dad, Um, what score out of 10 would you give that one? That was a nine. I'm gonna have to give it a nine out of 10 too, guys. It's got really good flavor. If you like that spicy sandwich, you like those things I described, I think you're going to love that new sub, okay? What was that one called again? The number 22 spicy nacho chicken. It's got really good flavor if you like, like, nachos and the cheese and the jalapeno. And Dad, Dad doesn't even like those, but he likes, he must like that spicy taste of that. Yeah, that is pretty good. It's pretty darn good. And the spicy, spicy and the flavor uh, it was uh, comparative. It was... Uh, it was a mixture of of hot, yeah, 
exist in this. Yeah. My and my thing, thing yeah, my thing is, is it was hot, but you could still taste the chicken. You could still taste that uh nacho cheddar, yeah, nacho cheddar, yeah. cheddar cheese in there. Even though it was hot, you still could yeah, taste I could it. T t taste the veggies and the mm -hmm. veggies in there too. That's good. It's a that's a good one, guys. I'm sweating. I'm hot, guys. My mouth is hot. So if you like those spicy sandwiches, try that one because that one's a good one. It is spicy though. Spicy, I like spicy. I like it the uh, is for the spiciness. Yeah. And the tastiness. Yeah. Uh, it's a really good yeah, sandwich. It is a good sandwich. It is. Okay. I, I eat all of it. Yeah. Yeah, I ate all my well three inches too. <laughs> kind of tells you so I've done it. Okay, Dad, you ready to let these guys yeah. go? Guys, I got crumbs all over my yeah. <laughs> all over my console on me. Yeah, I know. Thank goodness for the WeatherTech floor mats. Not sponsored, but thank goodness for the WeatherTech floor mats. I can pop them out, dump out the crumbs, yeah. put them back in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, we're going to let you go. We hope you all have a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, we hope you have a great day. A great day and a better tomorrow. And God bless you all. Yes, guys. God bless. Come back tomorrow. See what we're eating. See what we're reviewing. See if we like it or not. Until tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.